So if you're a guitarist who struggles with strumming patterns and you're probably always like, what's the strumming pattern for this song and what's how does the strumming go for that? Well, really, um, when you look at more advanced player, they don't tend to stick in a, a pattern for too long. They might have a general theme of a pattern, but what's happening is they might improvise and they might subconsciously just change the beat. So if I just show you a pattern, very simple pattern, and here's what I mean. So they're adding in beats, adding in upbeats and downbeats. And the reason they can do this is because the momentum of the hand is constant. So what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to show you lots of uh, different strumming patterns, but hopefully at the end of it, you get a feel for your hands just making this movement. And then that should, from there, over the months and years, give you confidence to just start just feeling it and creating your own patterns without even knowing it. You're just, just letting go and it just sort of happens. It might seem a bit of a, a large feat at this moment if you're new to guitar and strumming, but honest, that's, that's the way it goes. Uh, not much thinking goes into strumming once you can learn how to do it subconsciously. So... What we're going to do is just start by just learning how to count this. So the strong beats are the one, two, three, and four. So that's what you call the strong beat. And the, the off beat or the up beat is these ands. So you can see all in all, even though it's four beats long, this uh, counting, there's eight beats to contend with. And that's what we call eight strumming because there's eight potential beats you can play so the the strong beats are the one two three four now get into the habit of actually saying this out loud because when you say it out loud and your hands don't go with your voice then you can quickly say all right i'm doing something wrong uh, but when you're trying to do it in your head it's hard to figure out what you're actually doing wrong so one two three four one two three Four. Sounds simple. Let's add in the ands. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So if you notice the pulse of the one, two, three, four, the strong beats, they're always the same. So one, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and. So the and is directly in the middle of them strong beats. Okay, let's just try strumming the strong beats. Now, what I don't want you to do is snatch your hand down like that. Because that's not going to be an even sort of pendulum feeling. You don't see a, a grandfather clock's uh, pendulum that goes like that. It doesn't go... It doesn't snatch to the side. It's just constantly flowing like this and watch this this is a strumming pattern so if you have it even like this then your and is going to be exactly in the middle of two downs so the upstroke is going to be directly in the middle of two downs so watch this we're going to go one two three four one sounds simple but that this is the start of it and it'll develop it'll get harder and then this will be the good foundation for you. So one and two and three and four and. So I want you to be able to count the and, but we're just strumming the down. So one and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. Okay, nice and simple. The next one, we're going to actually put the upstroke on the and of four. So the and that belongs to four. So the count will be one and two and three and four and. So at the end, it's going to be four and. Nice and sort of nice and relaxed. I'm not hitting the strings hard. So it's not like four and or four and. No jerky sort of motion with my hand. It's just nice and easy four and nice and gentle four and if you make it gentle it'll force you just to not do these frantic motions which is exactly what happens when people get the strumming uh, wrong so four and just down up 
So let's go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So once you've done this and a four here, you've got to come straight and with a down and you don't want to wreck this momentum's constant. Time doesn't stop, this hand doesn't stop. So when I've done the, the up, I'm straight into a down again. So the and a four will be and one straight into it. So one and two and three and four and 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 okay let's go to the next one so i'm sticking in an extra and here uh, at the and of three so we still got the and of four but we're just adding in an extra one so this will go one and two and three and four and if you notice when i say the ands you're not playing at i lower my volume i'm only saying the ones you're actually strumming loud so one and two and three and four and i still say the and but it's very quiet because uh, i want to just say the strumming ones are going to hit the loudest so you can hear the pattern. so one and two and three and four and so the three and four and is three and four and nice and smooth nice and gentle watch three and four and I'm barely even touching the strings. I'm so gentle. It'll if you're gentle, it'll stop you doing this with your hand, which you you might relate to that if you're having problems. So one, so three and four and nice and gentle like that. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and okay. So each one of these exercises, if you're not mastered, just pause it, do it, just rewind it a bit and until you can do it. Okay, so I shifted where the ands are here. I've taken it from the and of four and I've put it on the and of two. Uh, so it's on the and of two and on the and of three. So you'd count this one and two and three and four and one two and three and four and you ready so one two and three and four and one two and three and four and oh yeah by the way we're just playing a standard g chord there as you can see nothing to flash all right so one two and three and four and one two and three and four and now now i'm getting confident of saying my ands i might just leave out the ands that i'm not playing and just say the ands that i'm playing let's see how that works so one two and three and four one two and three and four down down up down up down 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 up down up now hopefully you can start to see that my hands just being constant and it's just playing ups and downs in lots of different places yeah so you can start to see how you can just let go of your hand and it really doesn't matter where it hits its down where it hits its up it's gonna sound in time as long as you keep that pendulum motion okay so this focuses on the uh, up strokes so this is gonna go the first bit is going to go one and so a nice down up one and so you got one and two and three and four and so you might want to just practice just going up strokes here just get the up strokes going so they're going to be on the hands so you ready one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and 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 one and 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 down up 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 down up 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 
So you can say I, I did three different ways you could possibly think of that. There's lots of ways to think about it. You might want to think of the arrows. You might want to count one and two and three and four and you might want to just count the, the beats that you're actually playing. Uh, just just while you're learning, you know, there are different options. Whichever one of them suits you, just focus on that. If you like the arrows, just go down, up, down, up, you know, just say it as the arrows. Okay, so this is a bit more of a mismatch. We got one and nothing on two and three. And we got a downbeat on four. So it is similar to this one here, but we just got our downbeat on the fourth beat. So let's just read it slowly. So we got a down, then an up, and then go down without hitting anything, then an up, down again without hitting anything, up, down, up. So at the end we got up, down, up. So that's one and two. So when you say two, you've got to sort of skip the strings. You don't want to go one and two and have your hand up here. So one and two, and then you say and, and then you got to quickly go and. So keep your hand moving. I tell you what, we'll do it in midair. Put your hand in midair, get the pendulum going. Do, 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 do. One and two and three and four and one and 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 four and down, up, up, up down up now if you can say any of them out loud while your hands going in midair then you're ready to place them on the strings so you're taking out the sound taking out the confusion of listening to it so get your pendulum going let that go on automatic pilot just as you're tapping your leg when you're listening to a song you you know you can keep your tap going and sing a song that's just the same here so you're keeping that going and going down, up, 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 down, up. Now, if you go down, up, 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 down, up. Well, going up, down, doing that is breaking out of the smooth pattern. So down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, 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 down. I'm ready now. Down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. So here we've uh, I've changed the strong beat to the third beat, taking it off the four. So down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up. So you got one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So look, my hands constantly like this. So say it down, up, up, down, up up down up so if you can say it while your hands just smoothly moving in a pendulum mo motion you're ready down up up down up up down up up down up up okay now this one is uh one two three on the strong beat and then the the up beat here the and beat is on the and a three and the and a four so as soon as you've done this and a four you've got to come straight in with a downbeat on the one so it'll be and one so straight with that and one don't hesitate and go and one and two and you know there's there should be no pause there times continuously going so one and two and three and four and okay that's just one we'll do that one again just one bar and then we'll loop it so one and oh, sorry one and two and three and four and okay let's loop it so when we've gone and we're gonna go one so one two three and four and one two three and four and one two Up to when you speed these up, then they start to sound like real parts, like. But when you're learning, you've got to just take it slow, get the foundation of it being solid first. 
and naturally when you get confident you'll just speed it up you won't even have to think hard about it you'll have the foundation in your fingers okay so this is this one here you can see there's a big gap here now the big mistake for this would be you would just do the first drum and go <laughs> and just hope that you get that upstroke there see if I just left my hand hanging down here there's no constant pulse happening so what's going to happen is this will be a fraction of the fraction of a second fast or slow and it'll end up being sloppy so I use my hand in the middle just to keep the pulse going so I'll go one and two and three and four and so you can see that and of four, that upstroke right at the end, is going to be solid. It's going to be the right amount of time hitting the and in the right place, rather than this. And two, three, four, and. <laughs> and just like, as well, you probably snatch up the sound, like snatch up the strings, rather than having that nice smooth where you can just go and in a nice smooth fashion. So watch one, and two, and three, and four, and. So looping it one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. There's loads of times in songs where you've got to hold the chord, so you might be going and then go one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four and then back to your strumming. Okay, so there are plenty of times where you do have to leave a long period. Now, after a while, it might not be a big movement like that. You might just get this just to keep the time. So watch this now. One, two, and three, and four, and. See, that's the same thing. The thing is about momentum. So it doesn't matter if it's a small bounce like that. And you'll see this now if you start to look at guitarists playing, you you favorite guitarists when they're not doing anything when there's no strumming there might be a small little movement going like this and you might have never even noticed it or even picked up on it but there's definitely some movement even if it's from the head like that there's some pulse that has to run through your body to get timing right uh, I, i'll see guitarists and the whole body will be stiff like this and be like <laughs> And that you could just see it so, seems so mechanical and robotic you need to just loosen your body and just get your body bouncing you'll see every musician you see there's some kind of with the foot's moving or the head ever so slightly there's this constant pulse so one two three four and one two three four it, and it's ever so slight if you watch me my body's just moving ever so slightly but my body's feeling the pulse okay so I hope that helps I mean this video is for total sort of anyone struggling with uh, I shouldn't say total beginners because I've, I've seen people who have been playing for a few years and because they've never addressed uh, strumming properly they've got into bad habits which is easily done and then you just stick with it because no one's ever told you you can do this without hitting the strings so you're always gonna fall short and uh, a lot of people don't address that and I always address the the pendulum motion uh, so this is gonna help you if you're struggling with strumming it's gonna help total beginners as well if you're a total beginner getting off to a good start with your strumming is pretty essential so once you feel comfortable with everything on there then you can just let your hand go I'll just show you some random stuff now so just getting my hand going and just touching it occasionally. So it all sounds in time, but it's random. So that's that's the key to be able to just feel it and then just switch off from it. It should be a sort of subconscious thing, strumming. You shouldn't really have to be focusing that are down, up, up, down, up. You shouldn't shouldn't need to do any of that you need to just learn the motion and then learn to switch off by just letting your hand go and just being random so every one of them downstrokes is a strong beat so if your beats for four you'd be going one two three four 
three, four, and that'd be it. Even though the bits in between were randomly hitting it, you're only surviving for four lots of downs. So whatever that looks like, it could look like one, two, three, four, and that's it. Or it could be one, two, three, four, and that's it. So they're two different patterns, but they still last for four bobs of the hand. Okay, I hope that video's been helpful. I really do enjoy enjoy watching students when this clicks in the head and they're like, oh my God, I didn't realize it should, uh, should be that easy. But uh, really, it'll just give you that freedom. Freedom with your hand flowing and freedom to know when to change chord because sometimes people just play bars a bit long or a bit short and when you're on your own practicing in wherever at home you you've got no one to bounce off to drag you into line so hope you enjoy that i'll see you on the next video thank you very much bye